Do you want to find out how to set up Security Copilot for your organization in two easy steps? Here's part one. So you're in the Microsoft Purview portal and you decide you want to check out Copilot. There's a handy button right up here. You click on it, but Copilot hasn't been set up yet. To get Copilot, let's see how you get it activated in two easy steps. As an appropriate administrator for your tenant, go to securitycopilot.microsoft.com and click on Get Started. It will take you to this screen. First, we have to connect to an Azure subscription. If you have one available, it will display here. I'll select Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. Next, select a resource group. In this case, I'll select the only one I have, PR1. Next, we set a capacity name. We can get information here about what it's expecting. This name will be displayed in the Security Copilot portal and Azure portal. Make sure it's unique and identifiable. Changing names can be difficult. I'll put in Security Copilot Capacity. Next, we need to set the prompt evaluation location. If we hit the I on here, this selection will affect where your prompts are evaluated and how your usage is priced. So this is an important selection. As UK is where I am, I'm going to select that option. Note this checkbox for if this location has too much traffic, allow Copilot to evaluate prompts anywhere in the world. This is recommended for optimal performance, but do remember on the prompt evaluation location that the selection you make will affect where your prompts are evaluated and how your usage is priced. So be very careful if you choose to select that option. I'm not going to do so. The capacity region is automatically set to UK South, and I cannot change that. In information, it says to select the region, but I have no drop down. Next, we need to select the number of units. These are Security Compute Units, or SCUs, and they are billed per hour and are needed for Security Copilot to work across your Microsoft Security products, including Purview, which we are looking at here, but also Entra and Defender as well. There are two kinds, Provisioned and Overage, and there's a handy Help Me Decide button here. This takes you to the Microsoft Security Copilot pricing page where you can make an informed decision on your selection. I'm only going to select one unit here, and the first decision I need to make is use overage units when needed, and these are priced at $6 per unit. How does this work? Overage units will be used after you've run out of provisioned units. You'll only pay for the overage units that you use. In this instance, I'm going to select this to off. Finally, I need to acknowledge that I've read, understood, and agree to the terms and conditions, and then I can click on continue. And here we see it is setting up my security capacity. So there you have it, folks. We have provisioned our capacity for Security Copilot. The next step will be to set up a default environment. We'll cover that in the next video. And we'll round this series up with a third and final video, actually, on how you offboard from Security Copilot if you decide it's not for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. In the meantime, you stay safe, travel well, and take care. Bye for now.